90.3 KEXP and worldwide at KEXP.org. It's about five minutes past one. I'm Stevie Zoom on this Sunday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. We are ready in, for some live music in our studios, and we want to welcome Courtney Barnett, Kurt Vile, and the band that you have here, too, which we're going to uh, get to in a little bit. Thank you for being here, spending the weekend in Seattle. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, playing tonight at the Showbox. We'll talk about this new collaboration in a little bit, but uh, a couple of songs first. Yep. <laughs> When I'm all alone on my own by my lonesome And there ain't a single nother soul around I wanna dig into my guitar Bend the blues riff that may Over everything When I'm by myself in it's daytime Cause down under or wherever it is I live When it's evening You know I speed read the morning
<laughs> Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four. Point three KEXP here in Seattle. You're listening to live music in our studios from Courtney Barnett and Kurt Weil. Let It Go and the first song, Over Everything, from the brand new release they have out together called Lot of Sea Lice. Came out about uh, 10 days ago on Matador and they're playing tonight at the Showbox. Again, thank you for being here on this Sunday. And before we move on, how about if you introduce to our listeners this band that you have with you? Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got um, we've got Janet Weiss, the amazing Janet Weiss on the drums. Hi. And we've got we've got Rob Larkso on the bass, and uh, we've got another band member who was feeling unwell today, Katie Harkin, uh, but she'll be at tonight's show. But she's uh, she's not here today. Miss her. We miss her. Got to rest up for the real deal. Well, this is a well, real deal, <laughs> but you know. You know. 
I mean, we're going to have a meeting about it, but <laughs> just kidding. Well, a few months ago, when the uh, shows are starting to be released for the fall touring season, and uh, I see the name Kurt Vile, I see Courtney Barnett. Oh, that's a cool double bill. They're playing together. And then sometime shortly thereafter, I find out, oh, wait a minute. They've actually gotten together to record songs. So this actually, a meeting uh, started slowly a few years ago. I believe, Kurt, you were uh, touring in Australia. Yes, I was when we did our first, yeah, you know, both times actually. But the first time I was there with the band and I swung by Courtney's place, more or less. And um, yeah, that's how we started. How, so the idea, how did the, the idea come about of actually doing this? I mean, when you tour a lot, especially festival season, you're coming and going with a lot of other musicians. What, what clicked for this? Yeah, I guess uh, we met, we kind of had some mutual friends and, and met around at festivals and stuff and Kurt just kind of emailed me out of the blue and said, I've got this song, let's record it. And, and she I said, I said, maybe. She said, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of, it really kind of evolved over a little bit of time period. Obviously, you're both writing your own material, you're touring and uh, I read that it kind of started off as maybe doing a split single. Yeah, and well, it just kind of developed from there. It was pretty much that one song, and then, and then I kind of had another song to, to do in, uh, in return. And, and then, yeah, a, a kind of year went by where we were doing all that stuff, making other albums and, mm -hmm. and touring. And, and uh, I don't know, we just kind of, the next time Kurt was in Melbourne, he... Um, we booked a bit more time and, and then we kind of just kept collecting songs and then realized it was an album's worth. So it was an album. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> did you, were you applying your own songwriting that you've developed over the years to this or did you, well, did, did it subconsciously, did things kind of change a little bit? I mean, I think all you can do is bring your own thing and then did you bounce off of each other and figure it out as you go. I, uh, when I did over everything, I I had ideas that we would swap lines like that. And, but when I showed up, I still had to, like, prove myself. And that, that that's half the battle. It's, like, just being, like, a little scared at first. And then, I don't know, that, that took a cue in, in a way because we started, I don't know, Let It Go was kind of the same way, just, like, swapping lines. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then and then we got more and more comfortable. Yeah. Now, now look how comfortable we look now. <laughs> On I, the I, album. Guess, I guess you kind of uh, you bounce off like you know I, I was inspired by just being in the studio and we kind of picked up on on different parts of each other's song and personality and songwriting I guess. Yeah. Now on the album, the songwriting credits are individual names. There's not one that I could see where the, there was a collaboration. But musically, you probably had to collaborate when you got in the studio. Yeah, I mean, we had to collaborate immediately. Just you know, somebody like. Wrote, wrote the, the lyrics down on a sheet or whatever, you know, and sat with it first. I guess that's how. But even the, all, the, you know, they they still have little parts like sung, you know, in in their style or words change, a word change here and there and stuff like that. Now you each covered a song by the other. Mm -hmm. Was that by choice or did did you each say no? I want you to do this. Song. It was contractual. Contractual. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. We well. Yeah, just uh, I love that song, Peeping Tom, boy, and um, and it's kind of one of the first songs of Kurt's that I really, uh, I really connected with years ago, and so I wanted to give it a go, and that was kind of in the, in between, so the, I don't know, I think we recorded both January 2016 and 2017, so I just did it in the middle of the year by myself, and. Um, and then when Kurt came back the second time, we we did um, Out of the Woodwork because yep. he likes it. Same deal. It was like my, my first favorite song. And I, I didn't realize that it was... I actually didn't realize it was the first track on the album because I had a double vinyl. I thought it was like a deep cut. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll tell you the deep cut I want to do. <laughs> track one off the album. <laughs> but it, it's, it's a great song. Um, yeah. So going forward, I mean, obviously you're touring right now with this and, and that. Uh, do you kind of think of things in the future after you kind of get back to your own ways and recording your own songs? Well, I mean, I, 
I would I would jam with Courtney any time, like, you know. But yeah, we got this tour, and then she's got she's got really big fish to fry soon, like huge, <laughs> like huge fish. So <laughs> with sea yeah. lice. I guess yeah, we both got uh, you know tours and albums and um, yeah, you know life goes on. <laughs> but you know, I'm de- I'll definitely be harassing her for the rest of her life. Uh, I've already got another song in mind for, for to show Kurt, so I'm sure we'll record some more stuff yeah. along, the, along the ways. That's good to hear. Courtney Barnett, Kurt Vile, playing tonight at the Showbox, ready for a couple of more songs. All right. All right. One, one, two, three, four. You won't believe what I could have told you But I don't believe I have the balls to let you know I can say that cause I'm a man But I feel like a little boy today I cherish our intercontinental friendship Talk it over continental breakfast In a hotel in East Bumble, wherever Somewhere on the sphere Around here Right I cherish my intercontinental friendship Not much very big on enemies So I kick a can way up into the sun, man But it falls down into a ravine I don't mean to even think about it that way But I do Watching the waves come in that night from my back porch to porch swing Swinging on its own See it's just an inhabitant of Some holy ghost What? Walk like a bruised ego along shore front, property unknown to me. But I'm feeling inferior on the interior. Don't, Don't you see? Guarded and sentimental. And after all, it's just a rental. Like better luck performing. Telekinesis on a priest. You won't believe what I might have, could have told you. But I wouldn't want to leave you. Tripping out over it. Okay, more so me, but or just me. Watching the waves come in at night from my back porch to porch swing, swinging on its own. She is just an inhabitant of some holy ghost. Continental friendship 
Somewhere on the sphere Around here
Live music here at 90.3 KEXP. You just heard the songs Continental Breakfast and Fear is Like a Forest from uh, Courtney Barnett and Kurt Weil. And that last song written by somebody who has snuck into the room here <laughs> before it started, Jen Clore. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, Jen is opening up uh, all the shows on the tour. Yep. And so that'll be tonight at the <laughs> Showbox. So it's glad that she came in here to get one of her songs. And it's on, on the record as well. should mention that. It's on uh, a lot of sea lice, all the songs that were performed. You'll find on that new Matador album. We'll see in the future if this collaboration uh, kind of sparks other people out there who might be tempted to do such a nice little idea like this. They can try. They can try. But you're at the top of the list right now. They can, yeah, they can definitely try and follow us. Okay. <laughs> thank you again, Courtney Thanks Barnett, so Kurt Vile, and a big thank you to our engineer, Julian. Thanks to Janet and also Rob for being here. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Thanks. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.